6.4 billion people live on our planet, more than ever before in history. Vital resources such as drinking water threaten to run short due to the ever-growing industrialization and the population development. Urbanization continues to expand. Innovative and sustainable sewer systems are a decisive factor for the quality of life in the large cities. Even state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plants produce up to 5% of sludge when treating water for domestic and industrial use. Recycling of this sludge is not possible. How can it be disposed of? Dumping the effluents in landfills increases the risk of pollution of our valuable groundwater. Cities near to a coast are able to drain the effluents into the sea, thus not causing ecological harm. Previous methods were limited by the technologies which were available. Pipelines leading into the sea were constructed above ground, lowered onto the sea bottom, and loaded with ballast. These pipelines were much too short and shallow. As a result, the effluents are washed back ashore, causing a lasting pollution of the ecosystem. The pipelines that were lowered to the sea bottom and loaded with ballast do not withstand the impact of the currents. During a storm, high waves produce hydrodynamic forces which often result in erosion and washout, which eventually destroys the pipelines. The solutions, called sea outfall, are preferred from the ecological point of view. However, with conventional construction methods, they cannot be realized in the ideal way. But using Herrenknecht's state-of-the-art micro-tunneling techniques allows for sea outfall pipelines which can be jacked as far as possible and deep under the sea bottom, in nearly every geological and topographic condition. The following computer animation shows the construction of a 1.4 kilometer long sea outfall pipeline into the open sea using the pipe jacking method. Here you can see the old, rather short pipeline ending at low depth in the harbor. As a result of the weak current in this area, the effluents cause severe pollution in the harbor area and coastline. In the future, wastewater shall be disposed of via a newly planned wastewater treatment plant. From a pump station, the raw effluent is pumped through a pipeline to the onshore shaft, from where the new sea outfall pipeline shall be jacked. The shaft is usually located in the coastal area, which protrudes furthest into the open sea. As the pipeline itself is planned to be 1.4 kilometers long, each meter of gained ground is of advantage thus leading the wastewater further into the open sea, where the currents can wash it away from the coast and the city. The recovery of the machine will take place at the reception pit, 1.4 kilometers away from the onshore shaft. Herrenknecht micro-tunneling equipment is perfectly suited for rock and mixed soil conditions under groundwater. The pipe jacking job site consists of the onshore shaft, the jacking frame, pumping systems for slurry material removal, separation plant, pipe stock, and an operating container from which the machine is controlled. This onshore shaft was constructed with sheet piles. It is approximately 8 meters deep with an inclination of 8 degrees. The rotating cutting wheel excavates the material at the tunnel face. Rock and stones are crushed by the discs of the cutting wheel and then ground down to the appropriate grain size in the cone crusher situated behind the cutting wheel. The material is picked up in the slurry circuit and transported to the separation plant through the slurry discharge line. This line passes through the machine and the jacked pipes up to the surface. In the separation plant, the excavated material is separated from the water. The machine and the pipeline advance continuously with the help of the jacking frame and intermediate jacking stations. The movable cutting head of the machine is controllable and thus enables the jacking of curved pipelines. So the rocky coast and reef can be undercrossed before the pipeline is jacked horizontally to the arrival point. To keep the jacking forces of the jacking frame as low as possible, the so-called intermediate jacking stations are used during this long-distance pipe jacking. Every intermediate jacking station only jacks a section of the pipeline, so the required jacking forces can be kept at a low level. With this method, 
it is possible to realize long-distance pipe jacking. The reception pit is located 25 meters below the water surface. A barge is positioned above the arrival point of the machine and is kept in its position by mooring lines and a ship. At the arrival point, a reception pit of approximately 20 meters length is excavated. A crane loads the excavated material onto a ship docked to the barge. A part of the soil covering the machine is excavated, the rest sucked away by a scuba diver and separated in a settlement tank on the barge. The machine is hermetically sealed and kept under overpressure, thus preventing seawater from entering the machine during the recovery. The pipeline is flooded with water from the onshore shaft. A diver assembles a crossbeam to the machine. Four hydraulic cylinders are installed in the rear part of the machine. To separate the machine from the first product pipe, the hydraulic cylinders are extended. The recovery itself can begin. The complete machine is lifted by the crane and put on a frame on the barge which returns the tunneling machine to the harbour. The diffuser itself consists of prefabricated reinforced concrete units. These are lowered into the reception pit and connected to the pipeline. Afterwards, the pit is filled up. A depth of approximately 25 meters below the water surface is sufficient. The pollutants are rapidly washed away by the currents near the sea bottom. A large quantity of seawater is available to dilute the concentration of the sewage plume before it reaches the surface or deposits at the sea bottom. If the wastewater is discharged at a sufficient distance from the coast using sea outfalls, the danger of serious pollution is considerably lower due to better dispersion, diffusion and decomposition. Furthermore, these processes can be improved with the adequate construction of the outlet. In the mixing zone, the concentration of pollutants already decreases by a factor of one in a hundred due to the dilution, thus no longer being ecologically harmful. With the new sea outfall pipeline, the wastewater system of this city near the coast could be considerably improved. The unpolluted sea nearby the coast is of advantage for both man and nature. Due to the fact that the pipeline lays underground, it is safe and maintenance-free for decades. Another advantage of a tunneled sea outfall, the coast and accordingly the people are not affected. This procedure is environmentally friendly. Construction works do not depend on the climatic influences, such as waves, storms and so on. For the cities close to the coast, Herrenknecht's state-of-the-art sea outfall technique offers an excellent possibility to lay the foundation of a modern, cost-efficient and environmentally friendly wastewater disposal. The water quality of the sea, ocean and beaches will be improved. Fishery will be sustainable. Municipal water resources will be cleaner with resultant benefits to public health. <laughs>